Max, I appreciate you giving us this time. Really what we want to know, tell us a little bit about Haven 2, because you've only just unveiled what appears to be close to the final design for that. How does it differ from Haven 1, and how does it eventually evolve into a much bigger space station with artificial gravity, that sort of thing? So the, you know, when we came up with our uh, proposed design, obviously the final design will be up to NASA leading the requirement, but based on everything we know and, and what we think is right uh, for the commercial industry and for uh, the U.S. and its international partner, we've unveiled Haven 2. So two key objectives. One, no gap. We need to make sure that it's, uh, it starts with a simple first module and that there can be a novel app, meaning that it's operational in 2028 and payload partner and, and uh, nations and NASA can test it, maybe crew tended, which means not full-time crewed, um, but test it from 2028. And then the second requirement is that you know, it offers a growth and an evolution to something more capable, more commercial, lower cost than what we have today. The ISS has been designed decades ago, and it's an incredible platform that I think with new technologies, new approach, uh, we can do better. And also we have new needs for in-space manufacturing. So that's really the design of these two. And um, you know, right now what we propose in its nine module configuration in 2032 uh, exceed uh, anything that uh, is available right now on the ISS in uh, other space stations, uh, including uh, Tiangong from China, what we understand they plan to do, and then all of our competitors. So, so that's Haven 2, but the key point is it starts with something uh, relatively simple, which is our first module, and it's a derivative of Haven 1, but it has two docking ports, it's five meter longer, mm -hmm. it launched on a Falcon Heavy, uh, it's double the mass, so we can have uh, 720 days of consumables uh, on board, um, and, uh, and it can grow. We then make three more uh, that we launch in 2029 and 2030, then we send a Starship-based module, then we send four more, and we get the, the fully built station in 2032. Fantastic. Last question, then I'm done. The, um, there, you have a, a combination of both reduced gravity and microgravity to accommodate both needs. Can you explain just real briefly how you're going to achieve that with your space station as it evolves? So, you know, the, our long-term goal is to be the company that makes artificial gravity space station a reality, and we want to be the company that find out whether for humans to live a full life in space. Do we need a full 1G? We know that works. We know zero G doesn't work, but do we, you know, a third of a G or a seventh of a G, is that enough so that we can live a full life in space? But that's our long-term vision. You know, it might take a decade, maybe more likely two decades, and a lot more funding than we have now. Mm -hmm. So to make that happen, we need to exist as a space station company. We need to be profitable. And so if you look at today's market, um, the biggest opportunity is to replace the ISS and have NASA as your anchor customer, international partner and other commercial partner. And so that space station, Haven 2, is focused on what NASA wants and needs, and it's a microgravity laboratory in space. So we have no accommodation for artificial gravity in Haven 2, but the existence of Haven 2 is why we are going to be profitable and why we are going to get to be able to build our artificial gravity space station uh, later, and a lot of the technologies will be the same. And then last point on Haven 1, uh, which is our own station uh, as a demonstration, we are actually planning to do an artificial gravity uncrewed experiment up to lunar gravity by spinning it at the end of its life, oh. and also offer that to payloads that are interested in experimenting with moon gravity. So where we can, we are you know, implementing the technologies for a long-term roadmap, uh, but Haven 2 is really focused on uh, a microgravity laboratory for NASA and its partners. Thank you so much for your time. Really you appreciate it. Thank you for and uh, for that uh, great video talking about Haven 2. Absolutely, and Eva, I'll send that to you so you'll be able to to see it when it comes Thank out. You. Thanks Thank again. You. Thanks.